Hi everybody, this is Jeff again from the Front Range Community College Library. Today we're going to talk about how to use the database Opposing Viewpoints. So we're going to go to get to the library first from the home page, go to Ac from the Front Range homepage, Academics, then we go to Libraries, scroll down here, choose Boulder County Campus, or if you're on another campus, choose that campus. Uh, on our page we have Electronic Databases, right beneath ProQuest we have Opposing Viewpoints. Opposing viewpoints, generally speaking, what it's really famous for is really quickly getting you to articles or book chapters uh, written by authors who completely differ on their opinion on a certain issue. So it's going to show you uh, really quickly, give you kind of a menu here where you can see the issues according to different breakdowns of topics. Let's say you're looking for um, health and medicine. We could view all, go into all the topics on health and medicine. This is one way to use it. Let's go into genetically modified food. Okay, I'm going to open up that issue. And the first thing they'll show here, it does take a little while for this page to load. You'll notice things. Oh, that wasn't too quick. That wasn't too long for it to load. Okay. We could go here to view more to look at the summary of this issue and get a real quick summary of everything about this issue. If you're not quite sure what's going on in this issue, or you want to just get up to speed with the basics of it really quickly, you can read this this summary right here. I, I use that quite a bit. I usually when I want to go back to that page I hit the topic. Some, sometimes with this database back the back button up here doesn't work so well so I'm going to click topic to go back to this topic. Now we're going to see articles uh, featured viewpoints. These would be their most popular articles and so genetically modified food should not be banned but let's see what this article says. We open this up. Genetically modified food should not be banned but carefully monitored. So in the debate about whether genetically modified food, this is food where they've kind of gone in and uh, messed around with uh, the, uh, the, the seeds to make them produce more food or to make them more resistant to bugs or things like that. And, and some people say that's great because we can create more food. Other people say, well, we don't know what we're, what we're messing around with and we might screw up people's insides also or maybe create even stronger bugs if we create things that are uh, crops that are uh, immune to the bugs. So uh, anyway, this is uh, an article written by a person who says that uh, the, there is some good to be gotten from these foods. They should just be monitored. Okay. If we go back to our list here of articles, uh, the next one probably will express the opposite point of view. Genetically modified food should be banned. So this is this first article we would looked at would give you all the evidence showing why or what this author gathered the evidence showing why genetically modified food is fine. We should be using it. This next one would show you the research gathered by this author showing that no, it's not safe and we it needs to be banned. And usually what they'll do, they'll tell you a little bit about the author here so you know who you're dealing with. Then they'll give you the article. And they're really, really succinct. Here we go. Argument number one. Okay, we need this product. And he's showing you here, he's he's going against everything the other people say why we need this food. He's telling you why this is invalid and arguing against it. It's kind of neat. You get a little table of contents over here where you can very quickly go through his his article here. Okay, it's kind of neat. It's really it's it's a pretty easy database to use. If you want to get a citation for this article, you could click Citation Tools. I'll go over this quickly and then make another video later that goes more into detail on this. It's set by default to MLA. You could do APA as well. Let's just go with MLA for now. I'm going to download it. Just click Open here. There's your MLA citation. You can take that, highlight it, copy it, open up a Word document. And I'll go through this just really quickly now. I'll go over it in more detail later on another video. I'm going to set up my works cited page. We're going to make that centered. Go down to the next line here and paste that citation in. Then there's some corrections we would have to make. Go up here to the paragraph button. Take off the by default indent. Raise the hanging indent default to 0.5. Make sure it's double spaced. And there you've got a pretty good looking citation. Let's go back to the database here. So that's what it's, it's most uh, famous for, this database. Are the, now see, it didn't really respond to the back button very well when I clicked that. So I had to click it twice. You might want to click on topic to take you back. 
Okay, so if we we see the featured viewpoints here, these are their most popular articles. If you click View All 106 on the viewpoints, you can see all 106 articles they've gathered together here. So here, genetically engineered foods are hazardous. Uh, genetically engineered foods have not been proven to be harmful. Again, two opposite kinds of articles here. It's a real quick shortcut to get you to all the hottest articles that disagree on this topic. There's some other uh, really great information resources on here. This interactive map is usually kind of neat. They'll give you a map showing you some different numbers on this issue. Let's take a look here. All varieties of genetically engineered soybeans as a percentage of all soybeans planted by state. So let's see where the most genetically engineered crops are being raised. We can see there by color Nebraska. Um, wow, so 72% of the soybeans in 2000 planted in Nebraska were genetically modified. That's pretty interesting. South Dakota 68 percent, Kansas 66. So it's kind of, that's a real quick little map there. Let's go back here. Let's see if it'll respond to the back button here. Yeah, that wasn't a bad reaction time. Okay. Also some things that are cool here, the different types of information resources. They give you videos you click view all three you can look into videos that are uh, loaded here for you to watch on this issue audio will take you to radio stories on this issue it's kinda nice statistics you can go in here and just look at uh, straight statistics on this issue I'm gonna click on one of these and it'll give you just the visuals just the numbers of a certain study you can get very quickly to the just the numbers without having to read through a lot of other stuff for this scrolling through here also they'll give us more standard types of information. Academic journals, these are articles from research journals. There's 54 of those in there. Primary sources, a lot of times these are uh, t testimony, transcripts of testimony before Congress. On the issue, here's newspaper articles. There's sections of reference books on the issue. Magazine articles, they have 89 magazine articles. And recommended websites if you're to look into. So it's a, it's a pretty cool database that gives you a lot of different information, uh, types of information really quickly. <clears throat> if we go back here to the home page, we could go into these different subjects, different categories. If you're not, also, something that I like to do with this database is go to Browse Issues, and then let this little, this little arrow down, and then View All. Just I just like to look through all the issues they have. This might be good if you're shopping for a topic. You're not sure what you want to write your paper on. You could look through all these different, all these different uh, controversial issues and then get an idea of what you want to write about. And as you can see, there's a lot in here. You can also search this database if you just type in what you're looking for. Let's say I'm looking for human trafficking. I could just click on that and it would take me to that page. And uh, let's say you want to really streamline this search just to look for exactly what you're looking for. I'm going to say human trafficking. And then I'll say I just want to look at statistics on that. Just search statistics for human trafficking and then it would just give me statistics on that. So pretty useful database and uh, that's that's the basics of how to use this database. If you uh, if you need any help using this please contact me in the library and uh, until then this is Jeff signing off.